Hey everybody, I got a lot to show in this video. I have a 1TTM, I'll show that first. I got got uh, this back in a year and a half, but it's Hall of Fame quarterback, Wyatt Tittle, one card. It's really nice, I figured that was kind of just gone, but really happy to get him back. Then today, I did uh, the Virginia Sports Hall of Fame Museum. I did their introductions. Uh, I only got a couple people, they had a bunch of people, but most of them weren't really that big. I got, uh, first I got Charles Stokely, there's 8x10, he played in Super Bowl 5, Super, Super Bowl 5 champion with the Baltimore Colts, real best wishes, Charlie Stukes, uh, also uh, this gentleman was there, Jim Coates, he played for the Yankees in the 19, 1960s, uh, he was on the team that lost to the Pirates in 1960, he also won two World Series in 61-62 I believe. He wasn't an inductee this year. He was inducted in, like, I think, 1984. But he was there trying to sell his book. I didn't know he was going to be there. But thankfully, he was having a, having these little photos out. And he signed one for me. So that was nice. And then uh, the main reason I went to the Hall of Fame induction. Got a 2-2 from Charles Oakley. Really solid basketball player. Yeah, he was kind of the only one that was kind of iffy about signing. But... Everyone had to sign as part of the event. Everyone got two per. And the way you got the autographs were simply you just had to buy a uh, price of the admission, go into the museum, which was $7. And then you got a voucher for two autographs from everyone. So yeah, I got my two from Oakley. He had his agent there. And his agent was kind of iffy. But enough about that. And then the real big reason I went, uh, James Ferrier, former Steeler, being inducted. So got him on one card. And then I also got him on this 8x10. So yeah, really happy to get James Ferrier. He's a great former Steeler. And then I, after I was done with that, I went up to Richmond. Go see the uh, Richmond Flying Squirrels play against the Hartford Yard Goats. And uh, skin that real quick. I got there right in time for uh, batting practice for the first Flying Squirrels. Got a one-on-one -on -one from Christian Arroyo. Two of two from Ryder Jones. Ryder's always really cool. And then I got four of four from Mike Kickham. First time getting him. He was a uh, throwing back practice. Then when he got done, he came over and signed. So that was really cool. So yep, yeah, four of four. And then the last flying squirrel, one of four from Tyler Beatty. So yeah, he's only doing one per now. And he signed the worst one. I've had this card signed for. I just happen to have a little more of this. But uh yep, he's one per now. He used to rack and do everything, but I guess he got tired of that. But then uh yard goats. Uh got a pitching coach, Dave Burba on one. Then I got a 2-2 two two from Cornell Prime, first baseman. He kind of looks like Ryan Howard, but he's nowhere near as talented as Ryan Howard. He's still a good player, but yeah. And then I got a 2 of 4 from Romeo Tapia. It was really crowded in there. Pretty much all these guys I got... Uh, as they're warming up before the game, because pretty much for a BP, you're only lucky with really getting uh, pitchers from the away team and then the home team, just in general. You can't really get the position players for uh, the visiting team during BP, just because they kind of kick you out and they start coming out. But yeah, 2 of 4 for him, and it was really crowded uh, during the game. This is probably the most I've ever seen in Richmond. Then I got... 2-2 two, two from Ryan McMahon. And I kind of snuck in and got him to sign this other card. So I double dipped on him a little bit. But that's fine. Then I got 3-3 three three from Rossiel Herrera. Really nice dude. Then I got 2-2 two, two from Johindi Hemina. Huminen. 
And I got a uh, 4 4, probably the nicest guy on the team. He'll sign everything. My dad got him on, I think, 8 cards. I got him on 4, uh, Kyle Freeland. Yeah, really cool dude. And then uh, lastly, got David Dahl. He was one per, but like I doubled it from Ryan McMahon. I also doubled it from him. I got on the side too. So, yep. Uh, really busy day, but the day that was really worth it. Got a lot of good autographs. Uh, so, yeah, um, there's no one, literally no team near me is playing at home this week. So, there won't be a video from me at all uh, this coming week. But then the following week, Charlotte will be in Norfolk and so will Buffalo. So, stand look out for that stuff. Uh, till then, thanks for watching. Peace.